Hi, I'm Raquel Jackson, and today we're going to read a book called Monsoon. This book takes place in India, which is in South Asia. A monsoon describes a certain type of weather pattern that includes a lot of rain and wind and warm weather all together. India is actually the location of where Vice President Kamala Harris, where her mother was from originally. Kamala Harris is the first Vice President of Indian descent. Monsoon was written by Uma Krishna Swami. All summer, we have worn the scent of dust, gravelly, grainy, gritty dust blowing on the winds and sprinkling through our clothes and hair. At breakfast, Papa says, when the monsoon rains arrive, they'll wash this dust away. I'm not sure if you can see the sticker up there, but I actually got this book from the library. Um, the libraries are letting people rent books. You can reserve them and they'll bring them to you outside. Going to the market, I cross the road with mummy. We need tomatoes, she says, and maybe some beans. We pass the old tea stall. It clatters with the clink of, of cups, hums and thrums with wondering and worrying. Will monsoon rains come soon? The radio cackles with news of rain showers by the sea, but that seashore is far from us. Mummy sighs. She watches the sky and she asks questions. How much will it rain? How fast, how hard she worries about floods and so I worry too. And there's another question. No one dares to ask it. It hangs in my mind as the cry of the crows in the old neem tree hangs in the dust pink air. What if they never come? those monsoon rains. Still in the afternoon, as mummy chops and stirs and lunch smells fill the air, my busy hands fold paper boats. I crease their crisp white sails. In my mind, I see them float in oceans of puddles. Evening falls, I watch the faces on TV Old and young, poor and rich, all across India. We wait for the rain. The heat makes me feel like a crocodile crouching snap job. I don't know if you noticed, but she calls her mom, mommy. I call my mom, mommy. In different countries, people say mom and mother and mommy and mom in many different ways. When Papa comes from work, I run down to meet him. Across the street, people crowd around the bus stop shelter. Between the screeching of brakes and the scrambling of feet, I hear excitement. Wait, listen, was that the thunder or the rumble of an engine? At bedtime, Nani tells us tales of when the monsoon was wetter, fuller, longer back in the days before fields gave way to the city streets. I listen till her stories fade to dreams. And here she calls her grandma Nani. My daughter actually calls my mom Mimi. Do you have a special name for your grandmother? Before day breaks, I hear a coal sing long and wild in a voice like melting sunshine. From far away, a peacock wails. I answer him out loud and startle everyone awake. Hot blue winds tear through the city. They rip the paper off billboards and shred the smiles of movie stars. I complain, but Papa smiles and says, we need this hot dry wind to ripen those sweet mangoes. My daughter actually loves eating mangoes. Waves of heat dance upon rocks and shimmer over rooftops. But by the afternoon, long gray clouds begin to trail across the sky. Nani says, you'll see when those partridge feather clouds arrive, the monsoon rain will follow. Can we go play, I ask? She looks up at the sky. Don't take too long.
In the hopscotch square, we've chalked in the alley. My brother and I jump and hop and whirl to the sound of temple bells, clanging, clanging. Three forward and three back, and no steps in between will make it rain, my brother says. That's silly, I tell him, but I try anyway. I used to play hopscotch. So much fun. In the street, a taxi driver honks an angry horn, but the old cow is tired and will not move. Wheels inch around her, we laugh. The driver frowns and wags his head at us and tears off in a cloud of dust. Yeah, I've heard that sometimes cows can just wander into the street. It's hard to get around. You can't really move a cow, they're heavy. As we head home, the sky is filled with full fat clouds. The wispy feather trails are gone. From far away, thunder pounds a giant heartbeat. We know it won't be long. The wind ruffles the leaves in the old neem tree. The newspaper man swishes plastic bags over the day's headlines. Suddenly it is still, a stillness filled with the scent of ripe mangoes, with promises of dampness in the air. Then, oh, the rain, the perfect rain, the stretching, sweeping sweet sheet of rain storms down. Umbrellas turn into walking forest. I sigh and my sigh rides up to the sky. The raindrops make me laugh out loud, thudding on earth and rooftops and on my skin. Mommy and Nani cross the street to clink a coin at the feet of Potbelly Ganesh, God of Beginnings. Rivers gush along to yesterday's roads. I dance with the joy of Earth's sudden sweet scent. I don't know if you can see, but over here, that's the Ganesh. The end. I hope you enjoyed this book, Monsoon. I know it's a little different. We don't have that type of weather out here in Oakland in the Bay Area, but maybe one day we get to visit India and experience it for ourselves. Happy reading.